Hello and welcome to how to design embedded magnets in your 3D prints. In this video we're going to talk about how to design it, how to prep the model, and then what it actually looks like after it's been printed. So here you can see a door that I'm designing for a model toy that I'm making. And essentially it's going to be hung by two magnets. Now I have a hole in the center. Uh, that's just purely preferential for me. I, I, you don't have to make that. I just wanted to have less material between the magnets that are holding together. And essentially we're gonna take a look at how this is designed to make this work. One thing to note is this magnet that I'm using is an eight millimeter diameter by three millimeters thick. So the first thing you'll see is there's an eight millimeter diameter that's gonna be cut away for the opening of the magnet. And the other thing that I did is I did three millimeter thick plus 15 thou. The last thing I did is I made this dimension here just a little bit smaller with uh, just over an eighth of an inch and it, the reason why is again just to have less material between the magnets so they can pull together but essentially the reason why I did eight millimeter size on size is when you press that magnet in it'll stay in nice and tight so that when your printer head goes across to do the bridging it won't pull the magnet out and attach to your printer head which could be possible if it's make um, ferrous or magnetic the um, thickness I made 10 thou bigger just so that you can push it in a little bit so that there is a little bit of a gap between the bridging and the magnet itself uh, size on size wouldn't be ideal for the thickness just so that in case you have varying thicknesses with your magnet so it's just more of a compensation thing when it comes to that so let's take a look at how to prep this and go from there. As you can see here, this is the model being ready to be printed. And essentially I'm gonna show you how to prep it and then we're gonna change some code, which I will also attach into the description. So firstly, you can see that I'd slice it and then I'm gonna actually go down the layers, down, down, down. Now it may differ depending on your slicer, but with the Prusa slicer, I can actually go to the first layer where it actually is going to bridge. I'm going to press the plus sign and that's actually going to make it separate. And then I'm going to actually go up again to the next piece and I'm going to find that first layer again. You might have to play with it a little bit just to make sure. You always want to double check before you do this and then press, press the plus sign again. So now it's like we have three different materials that are going to be sliced. Now we're going to ex export this and then we're going to go into a notepad plus plus. Um, I'll attach a link to where you can find that software if you need to find it and we're going to show you how to change the code so that you can have your machine stop and allow you to put the magnet in and then continue your print. So let's check that out. This is the G code that was exported by the slicer. So essentially you just open it in Notepad++ and now what we're going to do is we're going to go and say Control F and we're going to essentially find M600 code and that's where that plus sign comes into factor. So for every M600 code, you're going to paste the code that will be attached in the description. I'm going to find next and I find the second code. Once you're done, you're just going to go save it and now we're going to slice it. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, the example piece is just going to be a small portion just so that you can see me put in a magnet and have a finished piece. So let's take a look at that and go from there. As you can see here, it's just wrapping up the portion of the print that is going to have it before it sticks out the printer bed or stick out the tongue, so to speak, that the coating will do in order for us to put the magnet in. One thing to note is it might actually go backwards instead of forwards, as you can see here. And then next we're going to just put the magnet in and you'll have it where it's going to be just below the surface so that it can print. So if you have any issues, you might have to play at the coding and learn it a little bit, but essentially that base code that's in the description there should be good enough to get you started with your, your printing. Another thing to note is it might change filament when you press the button. So you might have to just put it, take it out, put it back in. And then after that, it's just going to essentially do the rest of the print that you have. And then you're going to have a 3D print with an embedded magnet in it. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, this is Tyler with 3D Printer Store, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.